Oké, okay, The Walking Dead 2, harmadik epizód. Legutóbb ott maradt abba, hogy Carver behívott az irodájába. Nem mondták miért, csak látni akar, szóval beszélgetni fogunk, meg tázunk. Megnézzük, hogy folytatódik tovább a történet. Folytatjuk. Oké. Okay. Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He Mellett doesn't like to wait. Carbert. Nem szeret várni. So you should probably go. Mennet kéne. Hát nem arra fele tartok. Rebecca! She's a strong woman. Erős surrounded by weak men. Ám, körbe veszik a gyenge férfiak, és nem hagyat, hogy a gyerekem úgy nevelkedjen. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You have to be able to contribute. He didn't deserve that. Even if he messed up, he didn't deserve to die. Oh, he certainly did. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. Én nem olyan vagyok, mint rá. Follow, not to lead. I'm not like you. I know it when I see it. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it. But you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized that back in that cabin, you were scared. But you Mikor... looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're going to get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. Well... Even if that was true, it's mine now. All right, now. Bill, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Try really not the shit out of it. How bad is it? But I think it's an emergency or anything. But it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Just rock it out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way. And he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back up to the yard. yard. It's almost supper time. Because we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. 
A barátod a meg akar ölni a zombik kamerát, Carver megteszi. This shit is all dangerous. Kenny, do not speak to me like that. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about I'm Luke? Luke. Luke. He flagged us I'm down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. Mm -hmm. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just got to get into his office. Okay, Why didn't you dialogue. say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Uh-oh. You're so real so difficult so to deal with so sometimes. Either he he no, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Luke's in no shape to help us. You want to put our fate in that guy's hands? It's not happening. We should get the radio to Luke. It doesn't hurt to have more information. I agree. Fine, fine. We can do that. But the herd is still what's going to get us <coughs> out of here. Maybe <coughs> Luke can tell us where it's hitting from. Okay, so we get that turret radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We so fire up the PA thing and bring the radios to roll over this place. Like and then like like get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of workers, ha! then you should know from the beginning. Actually... I do it all the time. Not that I keep. First words I ever hear you say, huh. and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. <laughs> what do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Which are now I don't know. Don't be bad. Sure, she gets that mug out of Canada. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. I've done it too. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. Ask my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. Okay, not so long. They're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk. We're all done. I'm good, Shit, he's coming back. Yeah, I can't let you go. I can't I stand here. Them. Grab something. Before you make lines. Ah. Ah, We're in trouble. Mm. 
Ott a győr. Hát nem kell elbújnom, vagy valami. Bebújjuk ide a üvegházba. Két-három ezer zene bíkezel. Nem látom az összes lát. Ja, de van zárva a felé, közben figyelünk. God, yeah. You think we're ready this time? I don't know. Bill thinks we are. Of course he does, but he thought the same thing last time. Oh. We learned a lot since last time. Is it enough, though? Már volt, mikor zombik megtámadták a tábort, és nem jól alakultak a dolgok. Úgyhogy most remélik, hogy jobban alakul. Kézben itt osonak a tettő. Ott van a rádió, milyen sok. Nem veszik észre, hogy hiányzik. Szerintem az Reggie-ről beszélnek, hogy szerintem Bill nem is akarta, hogy visszajöjjön. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? So the case is not. So, the homestead at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there just moaning. It's getting you sort of like a zombie. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. You figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. Oh, the bottom one. Never got used to a light buzzing or anything. A little different when it's dead human beings walking around. I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. That while you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call for prisoners. Anyway, <laughs> I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. Yeah, right I can't say now. for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. I don't know about you, but it seems like we really shouldn't be doing this yet. Should we just... Wait until we need more space to make more space. Let me quit doing this, Bill's got a plan. Look, let's say we call it for now. We'll talk later. All right, talk to you later. Yep, later. No, not to the hotel. No, no. Let's take a kitchen. Oh, fuck. Get the dish. Make sure more. Let me book it. Oh, the Josh Ray got the mother. Hú, hú, hú. Én nem, majdnem kész. Hú. Jó, akkor szerintem a következő rész pedig majd innen folytatódik.